Guardian is at the Advertising Week conference in New York, and I'm speaking with Josh Sapan, the Chief Executive of AMC Networks. Now, Josh, some people might not know AMC Networks by their name, but they'll know you by your shows. Um, Breaking Bad, Mad Men. Um, tell us a little bit about it. You're a phenomenon. Are we in a golden age of television? Yeah, I think we are in a, it, we are in a what's called the second age, the second golden age of television. It's been often referred to. I think uh, it's partly true as a consequence of some changes in technology. And by that I mean that people are finding shows on demand, both cable on demand, Netflix, uh, subscription video on demand, and that is actually introducing them to shows that have a slower burn, greater narrative, better craft, and then they're finding those shows and, catch, and getting into them and watching them on linear, on our channels. Well, Breaking Bad was a, a slower burn example, wasn't it? it exactly it right. It didn't take off uh, uh, immediately. It did not, actually. It, it, I think the between season one na and season five were actually literally up now in the ratings ten times. So that's uncommon for TV. TV tends to usually, as the seasons go on, go like that. And by season five, uh, you're waiting for guest stars to pump up the ratings, and we're seeing the opposite now thing we, come true. Now, we were discussing earlier, and, and I need to get these out of the way. Is the most common question you're asked, what is going to happen next week? Uh, you know, this week it's a this week it's a it's a happy and fun question to be asked. Being the finale of Breaking Bad. Being the Bad. finale of Breaking Bad, and we just had the very good fortune of uh, the show winning uh, an Emmy Award for Best Drama. So, it's a pretty good five-day period in our lives. And you didn't give a you didn't give a hint. You didn't give anything away. No spoilers. But you you, you described it as relative. Uh, what were the words you used earlier? The, oh, the, I just the, uh, the said it, uh, I think it's uh, satisfying. So I think uh, there's been a history of of television shows ending. The ones that people pay a lot of attention to. And there's been a fair amount of conversation, if you recall, about The Sopranos and other ones, and whether or not uh, they were satisfying to right. the audience. So we have a satisfying conclusion. Let's it's hope. not all over, because there's a, there's a spin-off, Better Call Saul, that's Thank you. coming. Thank you for asking. Yeah, based on the Saul character, if you're, if you're a viewer of it. Of course. And so there is a television show that will be developed uh, by Vince Gilligan, who's the creator of Breaking Bad with a writer named Mr. Gould and, and, and Sony and ourselves, and we are hard at work at that. Well, now, Walking Dead has uh, a lot of light left in it yet. It's not coming to the end, but there is also going to be a, a spin-off of that. Is that right? Yeah, exactly right. So we, we do think that there's an opportunity to tell a different story. And Robert Kirkman, who is the writer of the original comic book and the creative force behind it, is engaged in doing something that is uh, additional. Right. and it will be a second series, which we're delighted about. Now, at a more, more practical point of view, you, you've decided to split. Uh, you've split the Breaking Bad series, and you, I think you're splitting Mad Men as well. Yes. Now, you were saying in the session earlier, you need to be incredibly careful with the TV viewer. Yes. You know, don't annoy them, don't get on, on the wrong side of them. Yes. Now, um, this is obviously great business for you. You, you extend the franchises yes. a bit longer, good for advertising, yes. etc., ratings. Um, but is it is slightly cynical is it, side of that? Is it, is it, is it a commercial? imperative only. Are consumers okay with it? Uh, you know, we're going to find out. Um, I think they will be. Uh, we, we try 